Hello guys, it's Josh here and in today's video I'm going to discuss some more Dragon State DLC information that was recently released. First of all, I decided to show you some pictures of the guns, which are all thanks to user named Hatiwati. How he was able to use the guns in game, I'm not entirely sure, but it's most likely with some tampering with the game files. There are three sets of screenshots that I'm going to show, and the first one is of the Unica 6, the Magnum, which is pretty much another revolver. I have different angles from it, it won't be anything you haven't seen yet. Next is the MPX personal defense weapon or submachine. Well, as you can see, it's a bit weird because it doesn't have iron sights, but that's normal because they currently aren't apparent in these guns. The same is for the CS5 sniper rifle. As you can see, the sniper rifle looks well weird without an iron sight or an optic, but I'm pretty sure when the DLC is released, there is going to be an iron sight and a scope for it, without a doubt, because otherwise it would be very weird. For uh, all of you that have watched videos from these guns, just know that the sounds are currently placeholders, so when the DLC is released, the sounds are going to be different and probably more authentic for this gun. And here for a bonus are two more pictures. The first one is from Desert Eagle, and as you can see, it looks pretty much as we expected it. You can't really change it much. It's cool that you'll be able to use your camels on it. And the last but not the least, the ballistic or the riot shoot. Well, it looks normal. <laughs> you can change its color using the camels, which is, I think, nice. For uh, trying to be very stealthy in every map, you can just change the camo for each map and you'll be golden. What I have in my mind about the ballistic shield is that it's going to be only for the support. Why do I think like that? Because as you know, the support is always a big guy who wears a lot of ammo. Hence why he'll be the best to use the ballistic shield. And if you check the other weapons that are going to be released, there's um, three guns for each class. There's nothing for the support really, so if you get something it will be more fair. Because the EOD bot, which is usually an engineer, so the engineer is out of the question. So there's gun for the assault, the recon and sort of for the engineer. We already have something for them, so the support should get the ballistic shield. And on the top of the EOD bots with guns, there are going to be battle pickups that was confirmed by the game files. So there will be only a maximum of two at the same time in a server so they won't be much of a problem that's a very nice thing the name of the maps have been also released and they are as follows marketplace propaganda urban garden and waterfront the names suggest something close quarters and an urban environment and that is furthermore confirmed by the guns that are going to be released they're all more of a close range guns and maybe medium but nothing long range like the vanilla maps. Another exciting information is that the levels are going to be increased to 130. That's not very interesting for me though because I'm still level 86 but for those of you who are already max level 120 this will really bring some life into the game. Another thing released is the emblem of all of the assignments for the guns so I'm going to just display them all for the Bulldog, for the MPX, for the two handguns, and of course for the sniper rifle. Few new dog tags as well. Five of them are non-premium and another five which are premium only. Some of the non-premium dog tags, there's nukes and for some reason aliens, which seem very angry and a chopper that feels like it's going to be some kind of angel chopper because it has a ring above it. Or maybe it's something again related to aliens, I'm not entirely sure, they're very weird. And the mushroom that happens when a nuke falls, everybody can recognize it. The gold shooting with a machine gun is very innovative as well. <laughs> that was all for today, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.